Hello and welcome to another update video about ICP. ICP is currently following the wave count and projected scenario nicely. Um, this resistance area was reached. That was the forecast I made um, in public actually on Twitter a few days ago. You might remember it, 26th of uh, January. Actually, yeah, quite a few 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 days away already. Uh, it's gone. It's all it's all the past. But anyway, um, the idea was that the price could be working on a larger B wave, as highlighted in yellow. It takes an impulsive break above 14.51 to suggest a more bullish interpretation. Um, and yeah. That larger B wave targeting 11, 11, 11, 73 to 14.51. That B wave unfolded. And actually, as you can already see here, uh, back then we already highlighted that this could form an A, B, C structure. Circle wave A had bottomed already. Circle wave B, yeah, that was expected to reach that resistance area. And then circle wave C, basically we expected a turnaround in this resistance area. Um, in our primary scenario at least. And if we go to the ICP chart, we see that the price indeed reacted to this resistance area here. It has already left it to the downside. So anybody who was looking for short trade entries there on the ICP chart would be in profit. I know that some of you have actually done that because I've seen your messages. However, does this mean we're now coming down in wave C? So I have to say this chart is an absolute mess. Doesn't mean it's bearish, it means it's rather unclear. I still give my best to track structures for you, um, microstructures specifically. So I'm quite happy that this resistance area was, um, yeah, show, show, you know, the price showed a reaction to that resistance area so nicely, pretty much actually in the middle. Now, Based on the yellow count, yeah, we should see now a C wave to the downside and it could take us into that yellow support area, which to be honest, I would still like to be triggered. That support area is between $4.10 and $8.32. Um, I don't really see that confluence with many other charts, however. So that doesn't mean it couldn't happen, but it means I want to see a break below $10.23 a sustained break below support to confirm that this is actually what's unfolding because I don't see in my primary scenarios such a deep pullback as primary scenario on other charts. Um, obviously, yeah, there are more bearish alternatives everywhere, but it doesn't make sense to make it here the primary and on all the other charts, which are a little bit clearer, I've got actually um, it only as alternative. So on most other charts, actually, I'm watching currently not for a substantial drop, but you know, we'll see it, it again. There is currently no evidence for anything else. I just want to make sure that it's clear that it takes a break below $10.23 to confirm the yellow count further. I just want to highlight we are now entering a support area. Do I know that support is holding? Absolutely not. Okay, the market will decide that. I just want to make sure that it's clear that we're now entering this area between $11.17 and $10.23. So when you're trading this, when you entered a short trade here maybe and you're in profit, just make sure that you understand there's a bit of a support area there, which, if the price reacts to it, could lead to a larger ABC structure. And this circle wave B will simply extend higher. So again, it would likely just be a larger three-wave move, could even turn into an overshooting B wave super annoying but can happen and i it just looks a little bit like that so i just want to highlight that it takes really that um sustained break below ten dollars and 23 to confirm further that wave c in yellow is unfolding towards 832 possibly lower remember there is also some structural support here around eight dollars and um 53 uh, eight dollars and 54. So that's sort of what we're dealing with. I mean, don't get me wrong, this could even turn into some kind of a weird triangle. Uh, that's also possible. So I'm observing things in the background. Um, I don't want to confuse you, obviously. So the thing is, this B wave, yeah, for a B wave like that, it looks a little bit weak. That's why I'm saying it, it could easily extend. It would also be in line, for example, with the broader idea on the Bitcoin count that, yeah, we could react now to a support area Bitcoin is getting closer to a micro support and then we might see that next rally to the upside. And then we have to take it from there. 
But yeah, I mean, that's what I'm watching currently on the ICP chart, certainly short term downtrend. The resistance area was respected. Parameters of resistance still below, uh, sorry, between $11.74 and $14.55. A break below support is needed to confirm further the yellow count. And in, we're now entering this kind of pivot point, pivot area from where a reversal to the upside um, could occur. But it's at the moment the alternative, but I think it's not unlikely and it's worth watching for it. We, we obviously need to monitor the charts all the time when we're dealing on, with these four hour, one hour charts. And therefore, what I can do is before we hit such an area to make you aware. That's my update about ICP. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye.